6:59. First at four. We begin with the latest on an overnight police chase that ended in a crash. Good afternoon to you. I'm Bear Shaladme. And Daniel Miller, we know this afternoon two people are hospitalized as a result of that chase, and another man is in the Marion County Jail this afternoon. Fox 59's Jesse Wells has more on the suspect's criminal past and this new investigation. The chase and crash came to an end right here on this sidewalk. After the crash, two innocent victims had to be taken to the hospital with injuries. And some say those injuries could have been prevented. Speeding through a stop sign just after midnight here at Staten, Minnesota, a wanted felon slammed into another car, wounding a husband and wife. Police say it all started when they were called to a domestic disturbance at a home here on Thaddeus Street, where a woman told police she had been assaulted by Carl Young Jr., who then stole her SUV at gunpoint. Officers quickly spotted the stolen SUV in an alley and gave chase. Even though that chase ended with bystanders being sent to the hospital, police believe their officers followed the department's pursuit policy. At this point, all, all, uh, all the evidence indicate that we were good on the pursuit. It was a, a vehicle theft. Uh, he was wanted on other felonies. In fact, court records show the 40-year-old suspect has been charged in 20 criminal cases over 20 years in Marion County, including 10 felony counts filed since February of last year. Just last week, Young was charged with operating a vehicle as a habitual offender following a different crash. Because that charge violated his probation, a warrant was issued for Young's arrest mere hours before the chase. At what point do residents say we've had enough? Young was also wearing a GPS monitor at the time of his arrest, and Indianapolis FOP President Rick Snyder argues the case serves as another example of a flawed legal system. The victim in this domestic deserved better, and uh, so do the victims in, the, in this crash. And, and here again, quite frankly, so do the officers involved who are having to risk their lives day in and day out really tracking down, chasing the same suspects over and over again. Finally, the suspect remains behind bars tonight at the Marion County Jail. He's due in court for an initial hearing on Thursday. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Fishers Police are investigating